Focus, focus. Today we started off with a tour round the beautiful <laughs> Melton Mowbray. Um, as you guys know, if you're on well, okay, if you're new to the channel, um, I was based in Nottingham at Nottingham Trent University. I am now a graduate, hence the name of the series, graduation. Now I've moved back from Nottingham to Melton. Mowry. I realised in the entirety of the graduation series, I hadn't actually shown you Melton. You know, the old pork pie shop and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, just thought I'd mix it up a little bit. But show some love for the doggies again. Come on. Flicky, the ever hopeful. And Jesse, the nutter. Today we are going to have something very, very, very special. Um, don't really know how to explain it other than you didn't think I'd miss out, did you? So it's been about nine, coming up to ten weeks now since I actually graduated. This is graduation episode 21, so we've come a long way already. A lot's changed. I have a job now, I live in a completely different place, I live with different people, training is different, life is, the habits, everything is different. There was a quick, sudden change and that was that. You were kind of thrown in the deep end, the opposite to university from being thrown in the deep end for doing your own cooking, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of the other end where it's cold turkey. But one thing that I always did when I was at university and is still consistent now is living every moment like it's my last. Uh, the last elder, the last freshest week, the last time you're gonna go out with your friends, you know? Have that time for one final time. And what we're gonna be doing in today's video is reliving one of those times. I mean, I lived every single one like it was the last, but I couldn't stay away. I have figured out a way to go back and so, a lot of you guys will have seen the thumbnail and already figured out what is going on. We are heading back to Nottingham, everybody. Only for one night, for one night only, we are going back to Rock City, my favourite club in the entire city, on Freshers' Week, and I'm crashing at my boy Alex's house. <laughs> One thing it does mean though is that I have to stick to my guns and stick to my own made up the world famous tread principle. Right, so T stands for train, R reduce, E eat, A appreciate and D damage control. They all stand for something that you should do when you are on a fitness journey if you like and you want to drink alcohol and not steer away from those goals. So if you train on the day that you are going out like right now. If you reduce the calories, I mean, I've kind of not done that. You saw the cheesecake, right? E stands for eat. That is going to be before we go out, eat something filling and prepare something filling for when we come home. A, appreciate. You know that that is not going to be an issue, guys. I'm going to appreciate this night and make the most of it. Like I say, like it's my last. D, damage control. We want to come home and drink as much water as we possibly can so we feel fresh and we can crack on with our training routine the next day. Day. It's going to be a long day, but I'm so excited for it. We've got to train, we've got to go to work, we've got to go out, and then we've got to come back, and then like, like, it's all going to take a long time. It's going to be a long ass day, but it's going to be a freaking good one. Drop a like if you are excited. Let's get this session going. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
Now this is not what I would recommend, but it's happening. This is what's going down right now. Not long left. Now we've got a few hours until we have to get our stuff sorted. It's going to be a mad rush to Alex's, but I think it's going to be worth it. Just couldn't miss out. This is not happening. Club entrance up there. Cute. Down there. <laughs> Where do you want to go instead, mate? Uh, Damage control. <laughs> no, really, it is actually a couple of days later, and what a night that was. I mean, it went nothing, literally nothing like what we expected it to. We expected a nice one, actually, to be fair. We, we kind of knew that it was gonna be busy, but that busy, that I've never seen Rock City like that before. Four years, technically that was my fourth, first, second, and third year, and then after I've graduated, four freshers. All throughout the years, I have never seen Rock City like that. It was mental. And that queue was at half past 10. Little did we know, <laughs> we never stood a freaking chance. I finished work at 10. But one thing that I would say to not only people who are at university, oh, do you like my jumper, by the way? It's part of like a boohoo haul that I'm gonna do in a couple of weeks. Like, yeah, it's kind of cool. Anyway, one thing I would say to university graduates, people who are in first year, second year, third year, whatever, make the most of every second. But not only that, make the effort to actually stay in touch with your friends. Your friends, because at the end of the day, you are going to make friends for life. You're going to meet the, some of the best people. Granted, yeah, you are going to meet some of the worst that you're never going to want to speak to again in your entire life. But you are going to meet some of the best. Some of the lads that you guys see in my videos and, you know, Charlotte, everyone like that. Some of the best people that you will meet in your entire life. Make the effort, go out of your way. This is actually a couple of days later and I have seen the lads since. We've seen Alex and Jay, we met up and went to the SU and stuff like that. Not even, we didn't even have a drink, we just met up, spent an hour and just had a good old chat, like what friends do. Be that person to actually make the effort, make the time and you know, see your friends. If you think about it, it would be a massive shame to spend three years getting to know some of your best mates and then, then being gone just like that. And plus, you never know when you're gonna need a place to crash. Hey, Alex. No, but seriously though, I um, I do need to put a special thank you out to Alex um, for actually letting me stay and you know, kind of inviting me on the night because it was very important to me to try and get involved as much as possible and this was the most that I could possibly do throughout the entire Freshers Week, but I just couldn't miss out. I had to do, I had to do something. One way or another, I just had to, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to get the chance to do it next year, I don't think, and so it was nice to actually um, to do that. I've actually tried explaining to people my feelings towards university and how much I loved it and how much of a good time I actually had when I was there, um, but nobody seems to really get it. I mean, I've spoken to friends, I've spoken to family, I've spoken to completely random people about it, believe it or not. I mean, I work in a gym, I talk to members of the public. You get talking about stories and what you're doing and all that kind of stuff, and nobody, nobody seems to get it. I tend to just get laughed at. But the fact that I was so heavily invested, I recorded everything, I put it out on the internet, I loved every single second, I loved everything about university, the people, the experiences, the memory, like everything, everything about it, the fact that I actually started this, is just amazing part of my university experience. And the fact that that was over, at the click of the fingers, um, was very difficult to deal with at first. I think I'm getting there, but I mean, I don't know, I don't know what I think, I don't know how to react. And it was just a nice experience being able to go back and you know, be a part of the kind of, uh, immerse myself in the atmosphere, should I say, because even though we didn't get into Rock City, we just went to a couple of bars and stuff like that, we were still surrounded by people having a good time, having a good time with my mate, and that is literally 
all that matters. We actually met some New Yorkers, Alex Newsom, people from New York, and New York is top, like top of my list to go to on travel destinations. And so it was kind of fun talking to them about New York and stuff as well. Nothing about this night was kind of as we expected. We, kind of, we, we just like went with the flow, which is how it needs to be sometimes, how it needs to be with training and nights out and just life in general. Sort of take every day as it comes and just make the most of the opportunities that present themselves to you because I wouldn't change that night, I wouldn't change a single thing. I needed to blow off some steam too, man, because I, not that I'm like stressed or like, I, d I don't know, there's not even, like there's nothing wrong. I mean, it's just, imagine picture yourself having the laid back student lifestyle, you're going out two to three times a week kind of minimum, you're doing what you want, You've, you, you know, you knuckle down and do your work when you have to. But other than that, you have very few responsibilities and pretty much money from the government to just spend, right? Imagine what you guys just saw being your life two to three nights a week, sort of every week for the entirety of university and then going cold turkey. I actually haven't been out for three months, not properly been out, out, you know, like out to bars and actually properly having a good time with my mates. I've not done that since I've graduated. I've done it once on a bank holiday and we went home at about 12 o'clock, which is early. And I've had a few drinks at home. Other than that, I've not really done anything. And so I've not had a chance to kind of blow off some steam and just enjoy myself. So it was so nice to actually just, you know, get involved in the whole freshest thing again. And just like I say, make the most of every second like it's my last. So thank you to Alex in particular for letting me crash at your house. I know you're watching this. Mwah. Love you, buddy. And I'll see you soon. Jake, try and make it down next time. But that is going to round off today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please do me a favor, drop a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new for so much new content coming in the graduation series. I have some plans up here that I just cannot even mention, but I'm very, very excited about. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Drop a like again and a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.